Hey guys, it's Ray Hornback with the Hair Guys. This is my friend Jasmine. Jasmine's here with us today. We're gonna do um, just a style with our flat iron. I had a couple people uh, mention on the last uh, episode that they wanted to see me do the full style with the uh, with my flat iron kind of curls. Uh, it's a little bit different way than maybe you guys have seen before. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this and uh, let's have some fun. All right. Yeah. All right, so I just got her sectioned up. I just kind of took her top section up. Jasmine's got like literally the perfect hair for almost everything. Uh, her, her bob looks really cute on her. We cut her uh, you might have seen her in a previous video. I cut a bob on her uh, a few weeks back. Um, and then I've styled, I've colored her hair before in videos. So um, I always love using Jasmine and she's always game to, to let me have some fun, right? <laughs> totally. So yeah, so I just sectioned off her hair. I just got the top sectioned out. Nothing real, not real neat. Um, just kind of quick, get it out of the way and then work down through here. And then through the top, we're gonna do the uh, flat iron curl. So, uh, check this out. So you can see I'm just grabbing the hair and twisting one way and then grabbing the hair on the bottom half and twisting the other way. And that's pretty much all you're doing. Uh, so you guys can just feel free to have some leeway with it, obviously. But uh, the, uh, you'll see on this side, I'm just doing the same thing on the top, twisting back and then I'll let go and grab the bottom part and then twist a different way. And it just really creates a nice kind of random feeling curl pattern um, that I think your clients will really like. So you can see here, I'm grabbing, flipping away from the face, and then I grab the bottom and flip it back and up, kind of flip it out, I guess. The next one, I'll do the same. I'm gonna wave it, kind of wave it away from the face. See, backward. And then I'll grab that bottom section of the hair, flipping it kind of out and up. And then the next piece, I'm actually gonna start by twisting toward the face and then flipping the bottom in a different direction. So I just finished doing the flat iron waves. Um, you can see kind of this is how our hair just looks right now. I haven't really touched it much. Um, dragging my fingers through just a little bit on this side just to loosen it up. Um, you guys can see that's kind of loose. And then this is kind of how it looks right after you're done with it. It's just kind of got these cool curves and waves to it. But when I'm going to break it up, it just turns into some really kind of random texture. So I think you guys are going to think this is a fun technique. I want you guys to try this. Tag me in your photos. Tag me uh, as Ray.Voltage on Instagram. 
and I want to see what you guys are doing with it. Um, and share this video if you guys uh, feel led. Uh, share it with your friends so they can learn the new techniques too. So. Okay guys, we're all done with the style. Um, we are going to go out and do some photos. Um, I'm gonna show you guys actually real quick here in the salon, kind of where I go to take my, my best photos of my hair shots so that you guys can kind of uh, get some ideas of where you might want to look in your salon too for the best place, place to shoot your photos after you're done with your cut and your style. Um, so what do you think of this style there, Jazzy? I love it. You love it? Yeah. It looks good, right? Yeah, super fun. Super kind of different, right? It's not, it's not like your normal curl pattern. Kind of different so hope you guys enjoyed that um i'll show you guys some more tips here so hang around all right so the next part which are like okay guys for this portion of the video we're going to take some photos of jasmine's hair um we're going to be right here next to uh the window i'm uh lucky enough to have a gigantic window in my salon i have windows on both sides um but this is typically my best area i like being right near that window light um, so that we can get the best shots of the color and uh, shows off the, the contrast and the highlights and things like that much better than you know, being in a shaded, too shaded of a place um, or trying to be like under a light in the salon. It's usually just too harsh. So um, check this out and I'll show you guys the photos in the video, how they turn out. Um, these are going to be phone photos. So these are taken with my phone, not with a camera. Um, so you guys can use the same, the same thing in your salons too. So here we go taking some photos. I'm just going to be placing her head and tilting her where I want to get the best angle. Uh, I like how that one turned out. And uh, I'm going to do another one here on the other side so you can see both sides. I just kind of position her, pointing her towards the window, moving her where the light is hitting her the best. And uh, these photos are just unedited, just straight out of my phone. So I think they look pretty good. Okay guys, so we're just outside, it, just at the back of my salon we found this awesome, uh, there's like this awesome cherry blossom tree back here, crab apple tree, is this a crab apple tree? I don't know, either way it's got these really awesome like white flowers on and I love it like during this time of the year in the spring I can get out here and like just have like just a different background for the photos even for just like my hair shots, like get creative with your hair shots guys for, uh, for your Instagram feed, I think it's a fun way. Uh, to just spruce it up a little bit, just add a little bit of different flavor to your shots and, uh, and changing the backgrounds out sometimes. Um, so I'm just getting out the phone again. We're gonna take a couple shots with the phone and then I might get out my camera too and probably take some photos with my camera as well. I might show you guys like the difference between them um, and show you the, the likes that I like better about my camera, uh, the things I like better about my camera or better about my phone. Okay, so here we go taking some photos with the phone outside and um, I just edited these slightly in my Snapseed app, uh, this photo right here, but I love it, looks great. Okay guys, so I just took some with my phone, uh, super easy to get the phone out and just kind of go to town with the photos. I do have a fancy camera though, so I'm going to use my fancy camera. Um, this is a Sony A6300 with a 50mm lens on it. So we are gonna just take a few shots here. Might get a little bit even more creative with my vantage points on it, and kind of get some more of that tree up in behind her. Um, so you'll notice them when we take these uh, with the camera. Um, you can get that really like more like blurred out background, the uh, bokeh, if you guys like that look, so which I do. So I think uh, this will be kind of fun. We'll get some fun shots. All right. That's good. You're up. You're good up. Like that. Okay, here's the photo with my camera. Definitely like the uh, quality's better. Uh, the, the bokeh in the background, that blurry background looks much better. Um, just more high quality looking to me. And uh, I like the, you know, the, her eyes look really sharp and uh, her face is really sharp. So I do like it better on my camera. Um, taking some more photos here. Just getting a little bit of a different vantage point. And uh, you guys can see how that turns out in the next photo. 
but I hope you guys will um, just hit the subscribe button if you like this. Uh, make sure you tune in uh, every week. Usually on Mondays, I'm uploading new videos. And um, thanks for watching and share with a friend. And we'll talk to you guys next time.